Hi, my name is Chris Chan and I want to talk about something interesting about art. So in recent years, it's gotten harder and harder to define exactly what art is. For example, you have anti-art, you have photography, you have classical art, art purists, all of which are umbrellaed under this general term of art. So, in order to better understand the definition of art, today I want to look at one man and his work, Marcel Duchamp. Mainly active in the early 1900s, Marcel Duchamp was a French artist who focused on the abstract, out of place, dadaist, anti art kind of art. He was relatively unpopular at the apex of his career, and knowing the upper class that was predominant within the art community at the time, it's not hard to see why. Even with movements like modernism pushing the boundaries of art, Marcel was still playing in an entirely different playing field. So hopefully, in order to attack this problem of how we can define art and what exactly art is, I want to take a look at three of Marcel's work. The first one we're going to look at is the Cubo Futurist work, New Descending Stairs, number two. It sparked instant controversy, especially with the American audiences at the Armory Show in New York. Nudes were meant to be elegant, lounging, relaxed, peaceful, definitions of beauty. However, whatever Marcel painted, to their eyes was something completely the opposite. It was broken and it was moving and it was something they'd never seen before and even his own brothers wouldn't count it as art and try to censor it. News Ascending Stairs would come to be one of his last canvas paintings. From here on out, his career would be defined by ready-mades. Essentially, these were objects that could be found in everyday life but Marcel interpreted them as art, and these were what challenged the art community the most and would also come to be the pinnacle of his career. This is one of his most famous ready-mades. L-H-O-O-Q was literally a postcard of the Mona Lisa on which Marcel took a pencil and drew a mustache and a goatee. It would be very easy to simply look at this art and just say, I could have made that because that is the point. Yes, you could have made it. It does not require much technical skill. It does not require much training, much ability, but that was the entire purpose of Marcel's work. He wanted the audience to look beyond the technical abilities of an artwork. He wanted to look deeper. For example, if you take the name L-H-O-O-Q and you pronounce it in French, L-H-O-O-Q, it sounds like the French phrase L-H-O-O-Q, which means her behind is very hot. When taken in context with the Mona Lisa defining women beauty, you can really see how Marcel's vulgarity is being magnified. Marcel's genius comes further into play when you understand that he is also questioning this ambiguity in Leonardo da Vinci's heart regarding gender. Leonardo saw the female within the male. And so, with a few added simple characteristics such as a mustache and a goatee, all of a sudden the Mona Lisa truly does look shockingly like a man. With theories floating around nowadays about how Leonardo da Vinci questioned his own sexuality and the fact that the Mona Lisa may be a self-portrait, Marcel's interpretation truly does seem ahead of its time. Alright, last one. This is considered to be Duchamp's absolute masterpiece, his magnum opus if you will, what has come to really define his career and what he stood for as an artist. The Fountain. Yes, naming a urinal a fountain is very ironic and funny and attractive to some potential audience members, but does it classify it as art? The name Armut is also shrouded in mystery completely, but does this addition of a single name onto a urinal all of a sudden make it art? I don't want to give an answer to this question because to be frank, there really is none, but I will leave you off with this one story. Duchamp was a board member of the Société des Artistes Indépendants. He submitted this work for an exhibition that apparently was supposed to take in every single submission that came in, and he submitted his work under the name Armut, so no one knew it was actually his work. This group, the Société des Artistes Indépendants, was basically considered to be the forerunners of art at the time. They were pushing the boundaries of what art was, abstract art, the definition of art. When discussing whether or not the fountain can be considered a piece of art, the board voted no, and so the work was not put on display. Alright, so this is the first photo. It's a toilet. Yes, do you consider this art, and why would it be art? No, because you got it from Lowe's image. Alright, go. This is a second photo. Do you think this is art? No. 
Why not? It's a toilet. It's a fountain. What about with the added name R Mutt on it? Would it not be art? Mm, maybe. I don't know. It's just a name. Alright, so this is the first photo. Do you consider this as art? No. It's not art? Yeah. Why is it not art? It's just like a toilet. Alright, this is the second photo. Do you consider this art? No. Why is this not art? It's not uh, really beautiful. But it has a name R Mutt on it. Doesn't that make it art? No. No? It's like a toilet. <laughs> Gucci, is this art? Hmm.